Betty Fisher Wiggins, class of 93, parent of an eighth grader, and one of this year's co-chairs of the Scholarship Benefit 2021 Raider Strong. I wanna welcome all of you, parents, alumni, current and former faculty, parents of alumni, and grandparents to this year's virtual event. This event would not be possible without the help of many. I especially wanna thank our host committee and our benefit planning committee and our sponsors. And don't forget to buy your raffle tickets, bid on auction items, and raise those paddles for this incredible initiative. Your support makes an impact on every student. Enjoy the night. Thanks, Betty. I'm Kathy Bartholomew, class of 79, and my son is a senior in this year's graduating class of 2021. I jumped at the opportunity to co-chair this scholarship benefit because for me, this is personal. You see, during my days here at North Shore, I was a scholarship recipient, and I remain grateful for that to this very moment and have stayed so closely involved in the school, wanting to give back and pay it forward. Coming up, you'll hear via video from alumni, parents, and other scholarship recipients who remain as grateful as I do for this kind of evening where we can all show our support and generosity to keep the scholarship program thriving at North Shore. So stay tuned for that. I wanna thank each and every one of you for being here tonight in support of our school and of course in support of scholarship. You know, whatever is going on in this world, these challenges, we can all meet them together because together we got this. Go Raiders and go Raiders strong. Good evening to Raiders near and far. And thank you for joining in North Shore Country Day's first ever virtual benefit. One year ago, we were at the United Center celebrating our centennial with the party of the century. What a difference a year makes. I'm so proud to say that in this tumultuous time, the North Shore community has rallied together, supported each other, kept our students in school, helped our friends and neighbors, and kept the faith. I hope tonight is a welcome reminder to all of us what, it, what makes the North Shore community so special. I wanna start by saying thank you to Kathy Bell Bartholomew and Betty Fisher Wiggins, who are both alumni of North Shore and parents of current students. Kathy and Betty have been amazing co-chairs for tonight's event and have dedicated countless hours towards making this a fun and uplifting evening. Thank you for the lovely welcome kickoff, Kathy and Betty, and thank you all for the inspiring work. Thank you also to our wonderful planning committee and host committee. You'll see their names on your program. They too have given their time, talent, and treasure to this event. Without them, this evening would simply not be possible. Once again, we have some wonderful corporate sponsors who are great friends to North Shore. Huge thanks to our premier sponsor, Valenti Builders, and to our premium sponsors, Breakthrough Beverage Group, Burn Burning Company, and Northern Trust. These are all true friends to our school year over year, and we're so grateful for their support. Finally, thanks to all of you. We're joined tonight by Raiders from across the world, parents, teachers, staff, alumni, administrators, grandparents, students, and friends, welcome. A, spe a special hello and thank you from me to my wife, Diana, who's watching from home with her 501 local, and to my mother, who actually is joining us from Florida. All of us are gathered here because we believe in the power of a North Shore education. We believe in the importance of offering the widest possible access to that education. When we opened in 1919, founding headmaster Perry Dunlap-Smith would not accept the position unless the school had a scholarship program. And it has been a part of the way that we conceive of school ever since. That's because we recognize the crucial, tremendous power that financial assistance has on our ability to provide access and opportunity to the widest group of students. Through scholarship, we can offer more students than ever the chance to attend North Shore. We can provide crucial stability and support for families who suffer financial reverses or difficult life challenges. Above all, we can intentionally build a community where everyone has the opportunity to study and learn and perform and play and serve with peers who bring a variety of backgrounds and dimensions and experiences all together. The outcome is an education greater than the sum of its parts, one that fosters understanding, one that benefits 
every member of the community. And as we build this community, we do so not just with an eye to those of us who are here now, but to future generations, those students who will follow us and contribute to the vibrancy of this place in years to come. That's what those who came before us did, and now it's our turn. We'll hear a little bit later about how one of our current classes has chosen to live and serve through tonight's effort. Tonight, we'll hear from a wonderful variety of Raiders from across the generations, all of, them, all of whom know firsthand the power of North Shore Scholarship Program. The obvious theme for me that you'll hear throughout is the shared through line of universal impact of scholarship on the North Shore community. We are grateful to all of them for their participation tonight. Don't forget that you have a few more minutes to buy tickets for our raffle items before we pull the winners throughout the program. The window on ticket purchases will close in just a few more minutes. We have a wonderful program for you tonight. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy an inspiring hour of performances, memories, and testimonials, all embodying and testifying to the remarkable power of our community and the crucial role that scholarship has always played in it. Now, Let's kick off the festivities with a snapshot of our students and the ways that a North Shore education helps them define their passions and define their worlds. I am a poet. I am a linguist. I am a cartoonist. An athlete. A musician. I am a bibliophile. I am a leader. An athlete. A scientist. A soccer player. A singer. I am a dancer. I am a friend. I am a coder. I am a student, a mathematician, a mentor, scientist. I am a leader. I am an engineer. I am a friend. I am a friend. I am a student, soccer player, field hockey player, gymnast, an actor, writer, musician. I am an artist. I am a chef. I am a poet. I am a soccer player. I am an athlete. I am a crawfish lover. I am a soccer player. I am a raider. I am a raider. I'm a raider. I am a raider. I am a raider. I am a raider. I am a raider. I'm a raider. A raider. A raider. A raider. I am a raider. We are. We are. We are raider strong. 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 Raider Strong. We are Raider Strong. We are Raider Strong. Welcome back, everyone. What a great way to start us off. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our MC for the evening, esteemed journalist and North Shore parent, Usher Qureshi. Usher is an Emmy Award winning journalist and national correspondent for the EW Scripps Company. His distinguished career in broadcast journalism has included stints as the CNN Bureau Chief in Islamabad, the Chief Midwest Correspondent for Al Jazeera America, and as an anchor reporter for NBC5 Chicago and WTTW. He and his wife, Basma, have two children here at North Shore, Jenna and Faz. Usher, we're so glad to have you here with us and to have your family as part of the North Shore community. Thanks for agreeing to lead this special night. Hi there, Tom. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me tonight. I'm really excited to be here to help lead the charge in raising funds for the scholarship program here at North Shore. As a current parent, I know I'm grateful that my children are able to attend a school that values diverse perspectives coming together to make a strong community. We have a lot of great things lined up for tonight. Even though we can't all be together in person this year, it's still going to be a fun evening and one to remember. Don't forget to get your raffle tickets if you haven't already. What better way to survive the road to spring than getting to work on that Lego Hogwarts castle? And if that doesn't work for you, well, Mr. Sheehan can lull you and the kids to sleep with a bedtime story. There are a lot of great items on that list. We're pulling the first raffle winner shortly, so grab your tickets now. Now you can see the items and purchase without clicking out of the window you're watching us on now. Just look to the left-hand side of the screen and you'll see everything you need. And if you've been paying attention along the way, you'll also have noticed that we have some amazing live auction items. One of them, well, we actually have one live auction item. It's a day of golfing, dinner, basketball with me and Diana in Door County before having a lovely Indian dinner with the Janes 
and Kevin from Home Alone. What? I'm sorry, I guess those are all separate items. Those are all the various live auction items that you could have bid on. That's good. That would have been a really long day, especially with a mask on. Uh, if any of these amazing individual opportunities look exciting to you, bidding has already begun. So jump on in. We're so grateful to the generous members of our school community who have donated these wonderful items. So if I think I understand what's next, uh, Usher, you're going to be doing a poetry performance for us, right? Is that it? Honestly, I think that you're confusing me with the other Usher. He, he's good at rhyming. That's, that's, not that's That must be it. <laughs> well, just this is a last reminder. Get your raffle tickets now. After this next video, we are going to close ticket sales and pull our first winners. But right now, I'm thrilled to introduce our next video. Louder Than a Bomb is the largest youth poetry festival in the world. And North Shore Country Day is proud to have a group of talented poets who perform and write each year. We ask members of the team to write and perform something just for you this evening. So please sit back and enjoy. The first time I visited North Shore, I said, wow, I'm going to get lost. Coming from a small public school to a campus three times its size, I said, wow, I'm going to need a map to get around. But when I first met my classmates, I was wrapped in a hug so big, so wide, so high, I forgot that I was the new guy. I forgot that I was supposed to be lost because I was home. The first time I sat in a class, I remember still the nerves and thrill. Theater arts, A block, freshman year, among strangers turned friends turned family, confused by the block plan, concerned by my classes, unaware of the chapter I was beginning. The first time I went to a morning X, I wondered what people meant. What was this mex and what would we do? When I entered the auditorium, I was greeted by community and freely they sang and they were a family. I heard fight, fight, fight for the purple and the white for its North Shore forevermore. And I wanted an encore of this feeling I'd never felt before, a feeling of tradition and belonging and not longing to be anywhere else. The first club's fair, still fresh in my memory, seas of students swarmed around the unfamiliar V, anxiously awaiting affinity group acceptance, signing up for clubs I would one day call my own, joining GSA to DSJ, not knowing I was home. The first volleyball game, I remember holding the ball in my purple shirt with white lettering, nervous that I'd never get the ball to swing over the net to where it needed to be. I looked over my shoulder and Coach Fannerstill was smiling at me. I remember practice and getting my first overhand serve over the net. She said she was so proud of me and I knew I was where I needed to be. The first time I stepped on stage, still silently cursing the onstage requirement, I never would have guessed by curtain call a love of theater would catch me by surprise, from the first careful crossing over the catwalk to the last time I'd cross the graduation stage below, the theater community would carry me through until the final bow of high school. The first time I knew this year wouldn't be the same, I was voluntarily disqualified from our Louder Than a Bomb competition. Everyone was scared and in panic, School had shut down early as we all ran in disarray. I looked down the hallway and through the classrooms, hoping things would be the same, but I knew deep down things were going to change. And even then, I knew things would be okay because our North Shore community has always been strong, even when everything is in dismay. The first time I logged onto a Zoom call in the peak of pandemic precaution, the start of an uncertain spring, by virus forced virtual away from North Shore, I first felt appreciation unlike ever before for the irreplaceable work of our steadfast teachers, carrying the weight of education through a global crisis and caring for our futures and our feelings through the screen. Firsts are normally followed by in-betweens, followed by lasts, but this year the lasts are fading fast. We don't know if we'll have a prom or graduation and most have lost the mood for celebration. But through these hard times, we still believe in community and appreciate each opportunity for school-wide unity. For every Zoom call, for teachers giving their all, for the times when we needed support, for the times and traditions that can't be cut short, for the pep rallies and buddy days, for the interims and winter plays, for the memories we'll take wherever we go, for the learning and lessons that helped us to grow. We want to say thank you to North Shore as we leave here next year to colleges far. We'll never forget the school that made us who we are. North, North Shore, school, school community, community, home. home. Wasn't that amazing? Our Louder Than the Bomb team is not that old. It's only been around for a few years, 
But these students have just done amazing work. They have been to competitions all over Illinois, uh, all over the Midwest, and they have done just a fantastic job. And I think that poem and, and the opportunity to have a club like that is really what we're all about, right? This was a student-driven organization. They decided that they wanted to, um, to create this club. It was a passion. They found a faculty advisor who was willing to spend the time to travel with them and bring them around. Um, and I think it's just a perfect example. Oh, whoops, excuse me. Perfect example of everything that um, we're all about. And now we can move on to our first of two raffle polls for tonight. I know that the excitement is way too much to bear. So I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to hold my notes this time instead of letting the fan blow them off the stage. So we're going to start with the Lego Hogwarts Castle, which has been displayed down in the lower school for the last couple of weeks. Um, the winner of the Lego Hogwarts Castle is Adriana Grimsley. Congratulations. That's going to take up a lot of space in your house, by the way. Get ready for that. We have two wonderful Blackhawks passage packages tonight of a signed puck in photo. Uh, the first winner of that is Alex Sillitz. Uh, one of our illustrious alums. Congratulations, Alex. For the second Blackhawks package, thank you so much, goes to Ann Leonetti. Congratulations, Ann. We've got three more for right now. We've got a set of golf lessons, which I could certainly use. Uh, that goes to Cesar Guerra de Leon, uh, lower school parent. Congratulations. Uh, Lincoln Park Zoo package. This is great goes to our very own Yunchu Chen. Uh, congratulations to Yunchu. Uh, and finally, for the homecoming VIP parking package, that goes to Bob Probst. And the Probst family will be living large as we go to homecoming next fall in October. Um, and now uh, I'd like to introduce, as we move into the uh, next phase of our evening, I'd like to introduce Gary Metzner. Gary is a true and loyal friend for North Shore, volunteering his talents once again this year. He's the senior vice president of Sotheby's and the head of office for the Midwest. As an auctioneer, he has conducted hundreds of charity auctions and helped raise millions of dollars for wonderful, wonderful causes. Gary, nice to see you. Was a wonderful introduction and I want I want I'm holding up my phone I know there's a little delay but I want you all to know you see the time we really are live I know some of you watch these and and they're taped from days before but we're all doing this right at this minute because we really care about North Shore Country Day and we're going to raise a lot of money so you're probably wondering what how are we doing an auction you know last year I as we said I stood on the stage at the United Center and it was an amazing night, but we're gonna do a hybrid auction. This year is so important. There's a great auction, but you don't actually have to bid while I'm standing here. You're gonna have a chance to bid throughout the rest of the evening and then 10 minutes after tonight is over, you're gonna have the opportunity to keep bidding and raise a lot of money. So all the other question is, well, how many of these have you done? Well, I volunteer and I've done a lot of them. So the, the online auctions are doing really great and we're gonna have fun. And I'm just gonna go through the packages remind you what you're gonna look at on the left side of your screen and let you bid a couple of things up. A few things don't even have bids. So I'm gonna just tell you how great they are and um, and we'll go from there. And you know what, we're, we're, COVID's been really crazy. We're, we're hopefully seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's why some of these trips and dinners, we are gonna be able to enjoy them over the next year because we've got great dates on everything. All right, so let's start with this first trip. And um, everyone has been talking about it. We've got some great bids already. You can follow this on the screen. We're gonna uh, show you the PowerPoint for it. Um, this is eight of you going up to the incredible Sand Valley Golf Course. And this is in Nakusa, Wisconsin. 
Um, you could get in the car and drive four hours, but why drive when Northwest Flyers is actually going to fly eight of you there? You can play as a group of eight. You can play four. It's a one-day trip. Um, my own 92-year-old uh, dad has been playing golf all throughout. This is a great, um, safe experience. You mask up, you get on the plane and you fly. You play at one of the greatest courses. It was rated. Um, Golf Digest said the best new course of 2017. Um, it's a quick uh, flight from, um, uh, where are we flying from? Executive Airport. I've definitely flown from there before. And by the way, this is my, um, my fans back here are going to help me with some uh, updates. So what, where, by the way, where is this back? It's a $10,501. We're at $10,501. Oh, my God. All right. So I just want you to um, have this opportunity to just bid. This is the easiest way. I, you don't have to raise your hand. You're just going to bid, and you're going to have fun, and you're going to have this great experience supporting North Shore Country Day School. Um, the airport, as you know, you fly out of Wheeling. You get up there. It's 20 minutes. This is going to be a great day. So keep bidding. Um and we want to thank Northwest Flyers, too, because I know a lot of you like to fly private at this time, and that's a definite air, uh, airline that you should use. So our next um, package, and we can move on to the GEICO um, High School Championship Package. Um, we're opening this at $2,500, and I want to, I'm going to add some fun um, little surprises to the package. So get your bids in. This is a chance to watch your favorite high school um, teams from all over the country play in these champion national basketball championships. So um, it's you have a great experience with ESPN, and I want to let you know you have a choice of using this. I'm going to give you these dates, and do we up, is this all updated online too? Okay, so you know. Um, this is new. You can go to Fort Myers, March 31st. Oh, my God, it's almost March um, to April 1st. Or if you aren't ready to do this now, it's good for next year, which is planned uh, for March 31st to April 2nd in Charlotte. It comes with air. It comes with hotel. Even if you go this year, everything is being it's it's only by invitation only. It's 10 percent capacity of a 3500 person venue, mostly just for the um for the families and the players' families. So you're going to have a whole um, experience with the ESP and director of recruiting, Paul Biancardi, where you can talk about the players and the teams and uh, all you basketball fans that want to know who the next great player is going to be um, in the NBA. Well, this is your chance. You'll, you'll have seen them first. So we um, want you to get the bids going. Any, how are the bids? We're coming in. We're still. Yeah. So let's, let's go over there. You have two great opportunities to use this over the next year. So, um, and all supporting North Shore Country Day. All right. Um, our next package is a fan favorite, speaking of fans. And this is the Indian dinner with um, Tom and Diana Flemma at the home of Ritu and Ashish Jane. And I have heard, I mean, this is not the first year, by the way, right? We've done this before. Everyone loves it. Um, a fantastic evening. You are going to have 10, you and 10 people are going to enjoy this. By the way, everybody can go in on it together. So call your friends. You can use it for the next year. Is that right? I'm not even going to look at you. You can just yell out. Yes? No, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. We'll make it work for you. You're going to have the most incredible food experience, Bollywood dancing. Um, we'll make sure that you're able to enjoy this experience. We just want you to bid. Sounds great to me. So um, that's our... Um, Indian dinner with the Flemish package, a favorite of North Shore Country Day. This is, I think, new this year, which is our Home Alone package. And the Home Alone package, of course, who can forget Kevin in this movie? Um, you are going to actually, and I just saw an article this year. It was an anniversary, I think, of the movie. And people all day are pulling up to this house. Well, you're going to get your own experience to get your pictures right in front of the house. You'll see the famous stairway. Um, Classic Kids has donated um, their photography for the day for you. You're actually going to get an 8x10 print. Um, book this up until um, August 31st of this year. This sounds like a really fun experience through the summer. And then you can go and watch the movie afterwards and have a lot of fun. So um, once again, supporting North Shore Country Day and um, having this like a once in a lifetime experience. That's what these are all about. All right. Um, I feel like, by the way, I hope you're all enjoying my um, um, 
bow tie from the school, which I wore last year and have saved for this year. Um, I hope you are all ready for the head of school for the day. Um, I seriously am very tempted to bid on this. This is um, Dr. Tom, Tom Flemma, um, is going to let your uh, student take over the school for the day. So either I should bid on this or I should probably move to another state. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. You can greet the cars as they come up. Um, you'll get to uh, attend important meetings. Um, you absolutely, your, your child cannot let everybody have the day off, but you are, they're gonna have a fantastic time. They will remember it forever. It is completely priceless. So we wanna make sure you keep it. And we have one more package. So don't forget this. This is the Harbor Guest House. Um, I've already done a sneak away this summer to um, Door County. This is in Fish Creek. This is good for a year. It's good until March 31st of next year. Look at this great Tudor Inn. Um, if you haven't been up to Door County, it's charming, fantastic. You're gonna really enjoy it. So um, we want you to make sure you bid on this. You'll have a great weekend up in Door County. Um, great festivals going on all year long. Great um, COVID friendly um, way to get away. So uh, that's it. That's it for the auction. You're gonna um, see me back here shortly, but I'm gonna pass it over to Usher because everybody is waiting for the rest of the raffle. So take it away, Usher. Thank you, Gary. That was great. And, and to everyone who bid on those items, thank you. But look, you can still bid. We still have a little bit of time. Just because Gary stepped away, you have until 8.50 to bid on those items. But for right now, we're going to pull the rest of the raffle winners. We're going to start with the, the music lessons package. Let's see who the winner is for that. This is item 206, and this is Mr. Ma's music lessons. The winner is, I feel like we need a drum roll or something, Stephen Schultz. Congratulations, Stephen. All right. Next up, we have the bedtime story. I'm up for this one. I'd love to see this one. Item 207, the, mis the, the bedtime story with Mr. Sheehan. The winner is Greg Frizzados. Greg Frizzados, congratulations for that win. All right. Next up, item 208, the $150 apt gift card. That'll go a long way there. They got great deals. And the winner is Karen Peacock. Karen Peacock, congratulations. And next up, we have item 209. Uh, uh, trust me, I've been on the other side of the camera on this one. This is the Busma Qureshi, yes, my wife, photography package. And the winner of this item is Rajesh Keswani. Congratulations, Rajesh. I'll probably be there holding the reflector while you're getting your pictures taken, so we'll see you there. And the last item we have is item 210, two tickets to next year's benefit which I imagine will be in-person and an extravaganza. And the winner is Judy Golson. Judy Golson, congratulations. That was great. I, I, these are some great items. Congratulations to everybody who won those raffles. Now we're gonna send it back to Tom to introduce the panel. Thanks, Usher. Thanks, Gary. It has been very exciting here at, uh, at uh, Command Central to see all these bids coming in and to hear who's winning the raffle items. Uh, I'm still looking at that Hogwarts castle and wishing that I had put more, more uh, tickets in for that one. But here we go for the main event of the evening, folks. The paddle raise is where we make a difference in the lives of students, of all of our students. We're gonna hear from some folks who have received support over the years, who have given support over the years, but what I know from every day at school is that every one of us in the North Shore community is the beneficiary of this work and of this generosity. Because of our scholarship program and the range of socioeconomic backgrounds that it builds into our community, we are a better, fuller, and more vibrant school. Our goal for tonight's paddle raise is to fund three full scholarships, each at $36,500. That's a lot of money. I am incredibly humbled to announce as we begin that thanks to the efforts of the class of 2021, the senior class, we have already funded one of those scholarships completely. And this is a profound statement of support for the school from an amazing class that has really borne the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic and yet continues to live and serve. I'm grateful to all of the students in that, in that senior class and parents for launching our evening. So now, as you consider raising your paddle for scholarships, it's our privilege to offer an amazing video about the impact of scholarship across the generations.
They made me feel so comfortable. It felt like a family just stepping in through the doors. My econ professor, Tim Kern, like if I cannot, if I see him, I cannot thank him enough because that one class I took with him senior year led me to take finance into college, led me to get into the financial industry, led me to private wealth management now. Um, and without that class, I wouldn't have even known what the next step was. There's a lot of things that the students up here get to be exposed to that I didn't get to be exposed to in the city. So my senior year is my first year playing basketball and I have all these teammates that are willing to help me and willing to show me what they learn in their training um, to help me get better. There is 100% in my mind, I'm very confident, there's a, a back and forth give and take between scholarship attendees at North Shore Country Day and people and students that live in the northern community and go to North Shore Country Day. Um, I think there's a big impact that you get to learn from both ways. I think it's a two-way street, not a one-way street. And that two-way street really highlights the well-rounded individual that can become by combining the two groups together and bringing the two perspectives together. I actually still quote to my patients uh, Mr. Shipley's statement. Our first, year, first day of theater class, he said, all you need to know is what you don't know. And I still use that for my own life and I tell my patients that. So that way they don't focus on things that are easy for them, but rather really take that leap of faith and try to grow. Junior year, I was president, and I don't think I ever saw myself as president of any class, that kind of stuff, but I really think that's just sort of the beginning of ability to see yourself as a leader, right? And then senior year, I was vice president of the student body with Peggy as the president. So to me, that was leadership, right? And it was an opportunity to grow, back to the idea that North Shore gave me opportunities to try things out and to expand my horizon in ways that maybe a big school wouldn't have given me. I'm a clinical psychologist. I've actually uh, opened mental health clinics that focus on the Latino and underserved communities. Uh, throughout the city of Chicago. The motto of live and serve has been awesome for me, right? And that's how I live my life, you know. Uh, Centro Casio, the one, the clinic that I work, is heavily on flight and scale because of that. Because it's about, we give away and then it comes back to us tenfold. It really does give an opportunity to people to, to see different worlds. And worlds, it's not just culture, religious, socioeconomics, and we learn from everything. People are different, right? And kids are different. That's why you have to kind of help find a way to educate all people. So personally, as an eighth grader, I was extremely intellectually curious. And that's what made me want to pursue um, education at a small independent school like North Shore. I wanted that individual attention and I wanted the ability to explore topics with the teachers that were passionate and that had the time and capacity to um, really um, work with me as a student. I was Definitely a very shy person, um, but in a community where there's only about 50 people in your graduating class, you have to adapt very quickly. Um, and I think I took that to college in particular. Um, I'm able to do things that I never thought I would be able to do. I lead clubs and organizations both on and off campus, and I engage with people um, across the New Orleans community. I went to a school at North Shore um, that allowed me to uh, really expand my horizons and um, learn about things that I never thought I would learn about. Right now, I am the uh, lower school dean of student life at Francis Parker. I spent 10 years in the classroom teaching um, and recently just made this move, which has been super rewarding. Um, and really valuable just being able to sort of still collaborate with teachers and parents and kids, but in a little bit of a different way. Second grade, um, again, Jenny Plisco was another fabulous teacher. She, um, it came time to do the contracts and the tuition I think went up to 6,000. It went up to something that was just out of our reach. She said, well, if you don't mind, I'd like to try to do something and, um, and I'll get back to you. So she ended up writing a letter, which I still have. And the letter was signed by every person that Lee interacted with in the school. We need Lee Cross. Lee's departure would be a terrible loss to the second grade and to North Shore. More importantly, because of the special advantages North Shore can provide Lee for her future, granting a scholarship will in the long term make the world a better place. And they offered that Ashley would also get the scholarship. And that was the best thing that Chuck and I ever did because he fell in love with all those teachers, as did I. And 
uh, they ended up being lifers. Having a scholarship allowed our family, uh, you know, a multiracial family, someone who lived with, we lived with someone who was a wheelchair user. I think in terms of family structure, sort of had a very sort of atypical exterior look um, for what you would maybe expect. And I think that the school allowed us to sort of bring our full authentic selves to the table all the time. I feel like the education that they received, not just through books, has taken them to where they are today. Well, I just want to say thank you to all the supporters of the scholarship. It truly changed my life forever. Um, it's changing my brother's life forever. And it's changing lives that I can't even speak about forever. I am truly grateful for my experience and my time here. I do think that I've become a better person because of what I was exposed to here and the opportunities that I was given. So I am very grateful to know Shore. I have taken the um, growth that I had at North Shore and um, expanded it into my entire career. Uh, so I'm very, extremely thankful for that. You know, the love, the education, it was way more than we ever expected. Hello, I'm back. That was very, very powerful. Um, on a personal level, I just um, I want you all to know that you know this is an important moment. This is a hard time. Uh, we're doing these virtual events, but um, one of the one of the best things is I know there's people watching that have uh, their heart at North Shore Country Day that are all over the country that maybe wouldn't have come in for the gala, that are a high Litchfield that are here um, paying attention, sitting on their computers, and they're going to give. You're all going to give tonight. Um, I, I, I don't have kids of my own. I sit on the board of the Chicago High School for the Arts. Um, I personally care so much about education opportunities, scholarships. I support them. Um, you know, I went to school. I feel like I feel like a, a honorary um, North Shore Country Day graduate. I went to school just down the street. Um, came out after school. Um, a diverse body, a student body is so important, opportunity is so important. So this is your moment. This is the moment um, of the year. And even though you're not in front of me, we're going to um, raise our hands, but we're going to really just touch the donate screen. So look for donate. We want to start at $10,000. We'd like, we know you've been giving, look at that thermometer on the left. We want it to go up. Um, there is, there is a place I think you can give 36,500 and make my job really easy and you know, they 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 came in and Tom and Tracy were like, you know, we want to raise three scholarships, and I'm like, three? How about ten? So you know, I, I shoot for the move, but but we'd love ten thousand. Feel free to push that donate button at thirty six five or ten. Um, we're also, we're, I, I, by the way, we're we're not going to just. Um, uh, make you listen to me talk. We, we're going to go and uh, hear some really amazing, very, very short um, testimonial videos. So um, 5,000, we love 5,000, but between these different levels um, and watch that thermometer keep going up. We, we want to uh, share some great stories with you. So I'm going to let you know that um, um, you've heard from the students in that great video and scholars, and now you want to hear from some of our supporters. So our first video comes from the parents, um, we too, and Ashish Jane, and the parents of alumni, Corey and uh, Jack Chandler. Um, they're going to share a little bit more about why they give back, and that's so important. So go watch the video. I'll be right back. I think education is a great equalizer, and we see the scholarship program providing opportunities to kids who may not have it otherwise. With each child, we bring different ideas, different perspectives, different um, uh, different situations that they come through in their lives, and they bring all of that to school. And it opens, in my mind, it just opens their minds and their hearts. Whenever we are given a choice of causes that we would choose, we tend to gravitate towards children and making an impact in their lives. We genuinely believe education is the great equalizer, as I've said, um, and that's what we would want to support. And a springboard in life too, right? So education yeah. tends to provide that springboard that the children leave in their lives to take a long time. Our children had friendships from different walks of life, different backgrounds, um, and they certainly benefited from it. I think it opened up their eyes. I think it was a mutual um, arrangement where I think they learned and I think the, the scholarship students um, learned as well. I think it opens up their eyes to see people from from different backgrounds, and even though not all of that information is shared, just different experiences, and it just makes you more well-rounded. 
I think the key is to recognize that this, that the school having the resources to be able to do that enriches everybody's experience. So this is a win for all the kids. Thank you for sharing those stories. And um, we want to give everyone the opportunity to um, uh, really help out and uh, build these scholarships at North Shore Country Day because they will make such a difference in all these kids' lives. So um, I want you to, I want to bring back the thermometer because I, I've heard we've hit the goal, but hitting the goal and going over the goal, that's the key is going way over the goal because let's let's get another scholarship and, and change the world. So we have other levels. So um, let's, let's look at the $2,500 level and press donate. And um, I always say like, Give, give a little bit till it hurts. Like, you know, tomorrow you're going to wish you gave a thousand if you gave 500, but it's, that's a good feeling. That, that, that's a, that's a good feeling the next day. So 2,500, um, where we love a thousand dollars, a thousand makes a huge difference and press the thousand dollar donate button on your screen and, um, make, make, make a, a great difference for this next year at North Shore Country Day, because let me tell you, I mean, they have worked really hard this year. Just, uh, it's been great tonight to be around, uh, um, Tom and listen, listen to what they've done. Um, uh, really, really, um, really amazing. And then $500. I mean, $500 goes a huge way, makes a big difference. Um, if you need a little bit of a push, we have two more short testimonial videos. So we'd like to hear from um, two alums, uh, Dana Brown Davenport, the class of 96, and Tom Koppel, the class of 61. And they're going to tell you why they know that these scholarship programs are so important. So let's watch these videos. The scholarship program only enriches an already amazing community. Diversity is so important, and whether it be racial, gender, sexual orientation, or socioeconomic, I think it's important to bring all types into the North Shore community. And if the school finds that someone or family is a great fit, money shouldn't be the issue. That's preventative from them attending. We're increasingly growing more diverse, growing more global. Uh, it's important to create and foster an environment that, that celebrates all of those differences, that brings people together. I see North Shore as having two principal advantages. One is the community it has created, which is based on its values. And the second is its high standing, which is principally based on its academic standing. I choose scholarships as the target of my giving because I think that it helps independent schools and other learning institutions to attract the best and the brightest without regard to their financial resources. My hopes for the future of North Shore Scholarship Program that is that all of you will join me in contributing as I plan to do for future years and that by doing so we'll take the pressure off of North Shore to be able to have enrollment in sufficient quantity and from the right students because they'll all have plenty of money to come to our school. Okay, I am back for the last time and we've got just a couple more levels at 250, a hundred dollars. We want everybody to participate that's watching tonight. You have all been so generous. Um, are we, are we going to wait and look at the thermometer? Well, um, I'm going to bring back a, a couple of our friends. Look at that. Uh, we are doing fantastically well. We've got $130,000. Let's keep going. And it, even if you if you meant to give $10,000, you can still jump in and do it. So um, we, I want to thank all the bidders. I want to remind you, I think we're going to keep reminding you that after this is over, we've got 10 more minutes to bid. We're going to tell you many times. And uh, once again, an honor to be in front of you. I'm going to be all careful and get masked up and tell you to have a great night. And I'm going to turn it over to Usher and thank you so much. Okay, good night. Thank you so much, Gary, for that. And again, I mean, some amazing items up for auction. As Gary mentioned, there's still just a few minutes left. Get those bids in. But again, thank you for having me this evening. It was a pleasure to join you all. And what an incredible impact we've made. Good night from me. I'll toss it over to Tom to close it out. Usher, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for your leadership and your partnership. Uh, I wanna say thank you to Gary. Gary doesn't have to do this. Uh, and uh, he just comes back year after year. And I think it's, it's because he just so appreciates this community the way, the way that we all do. Um, 
congrats to all the raffle winners for the evening. I know there's going to be a lot of happy kids out there, which is what it's all about, right? Um, thanks to Kathy and to Betty for their leadership. All of their hard work has paid off. Um, thank you to the host committee. Thank you to the planning committee. Again, I hope you are sitting there feeling amazing about what you've been able to help us create tonight. Uh, thank you to the senior class and to all of you across the world who joined these efforts tonight. It's really not too much to say that your generosity can change a life and shape a school. And we've heard some of those testimonials tonight. That's what we've been doing at North Shore for over a century. And that tradition of live and serve is alive and well. Uh, as we end our evening, just know that bidding on the auction items will continue for 10 more minutes and the paddle raise continues to be open until Monday morning. So if you decide, like Gary said, if you decide that you want to double what you've already offered tonight, you can feel free to do that until Monday. If there are friends who weren't able to make it tonight, maybe they had a big paddle match that they had to be at, encourage them to log in and to join. Um, and now, as we finish, I'd like to announce, and if we could have a virtual drum roll, that our work tonight is the most visible, but there was so much work that came before with the host committee and the planning committee who had raised funds before we even started the night. So if you're ready for this so far, and remember you have until uh, later tonight and till Monday, so far, we have raised $320,000 and counting for scholarship aid at North Shore Country Day. It, it's overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, you did that. Um, and I hope that everyone out there takes such pride in, like I do every day, and Diana does, for being a part of this kind of a community. Um, this is a very special place. So, on behalf of our students, faculty, staff, and everyone who is a part of Raider Nation all over the world, thank you for your generosity. Thank you for the support that you always give to dear old North Shore. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for joining us.